Welcome to this Football Manager 2019 experiment where I'm going to be taking a look at an FM19 database that was inspired by an experiment that I made a few months ago. You may remember the experiment where I flipped the English leagues around, Premier League with the National League North and South and all the other divisions were flipped as well. Now this database was created by someone called Jacob Gardocki. I'll stick his Twitter in the description below. But he has taken this to the next level. He has flipped the English leagues around down to level 9. Now, for those of you that don't know how the English football pyramid works, of course, we've got the, the English Premier League, Championship, League One, League Two, and then we go down to non-league with the National League, the National League North and South, so that's the sixth tier. We've then got regional leagues here, seventh tier, even more regional leagues in the eighth tier, and then there's the ninth tier, that which includes the likes of the Essex Senior League, the Northern League, the Wessex League. So he has flipped this division, well, this, this level of English football with the Premier League Championship, League One, etc. They've all been switched around. So as you can see, this is the English Premier League in this database. So I just want to say thank you to Jacob for putting this together because it is it's, it's, it's good fun. And the plan is to holiday a few years into the future if you guys want me to. So if you'd like me to holiday a few years into the future and see what happens in this database, then remember to hit the like button, that little thumbs up button just below this video. And maybe let me know in the comment section below. Now, the likes of Man City, of course, are in the bottom tier, the ninth tier. I think pretty much all the Football League teams and even the National League teams, National League North and South teams, are in this level, sort of level 9 and 8. And then, of course, the level 9 and 8 teams are in the divisions above uh, because there's so many teams in uh, level 9 and 8 of English football. So that's that's how it's worked. Be interesting to see if Man City, Man United, Chelsea, etc. can get promoted all the way to the top and then go on and return to, to their previous glory. Or will we see some of these other small teams, now in the Premier League, dominate? Now, I don't think it's geographically perfect, this. Uh, there's, I've seen, I know just a few anomalies. But basically, everything's been flipped around. Which is, which is great to see Liverpool in the North West Counties Premier, as you can see there. Barnsley in the Northern Counties East Premier. Hull, Leeds, Middlesbrough, Newcastle. There's some really particularly tough divisions, actually. This one in particular, we've got West Ham, we've got uh, Crystal Palace, Chelsea, Brighton. A few Premier League teams have been plumped into certain divisions and it's going to be tough tough for them to get out because there's only one promotion and some teams might get stuck towards the bottom of English football as a result. So that's why I'm interested in holidaying a few years. Now, in this video, I'll holiday one season. We'll see what happens at the end of the first season. And then if you do want me to continue into the future, then I will do that in successive videos. So I have holidayed until the end of the 2018-19 season and the English Premier League was won by Hebburn with 82 points, one ahead of Harpenden. Just to remind you, if you would like to download this database, there is a link in the description below. It is on the Steam Workshop. But I'm just, just noticing some of these names. Nigel Rio Coca got the most assists. 35-year-old Nigel Rio Coca signed on a free from MK Don. So, so originally League One, he's moved to the Premier League. This is the quality of players that we're playing at this level. Luke Sullivan, not, not too bad. He's actually worth £13.25 million, which seems a hell of a lot of money for someone of that quality. But let's look at the Hebburn team then. If you do spot anything, if you spot any players, stick it in the comments section because I don't see everything when I'm rambling away. But I imagine Hebburn must have money. Look, they're rich. In fact, I'll put the in-game editor on and we'll, we'll be able to see how much money they actually have at the moment. So yeah, tons of money. This is all the TV money coming in. Just a single season in the Premier League has gifted them lots, lots of money. So over time, some of these teams should in theory be able to improve. Like they've gone up, jumped straight up to a three and a half star reputation after one season in the Premier League. I presume all the other teams have done that as well. Harper doing three and a half. What about the team getting relegated? Wolverhampton Sporting Community. Yep, three and a half. So their reputation has been massively increased as a result. I don't know if Jacob may have altered that manually on the database. I'm not entirely sure what he's done exactly. There is a description on his Steam Workshop file where you can see what he has done. So it is all based on reputation. As you can see here, Jacob actually lives in USA. So he wasn't entirely sure about the geographies here, um, which is why there might there's, there are a few little mistakes in there as to, to where they're based. But that's not the end of the world. It's, it's kind of irrelevant because this is just a bit of fun. Just taking a look at the managers. 
There, there does appear to have been quite a few managers, but I think it's because every team didn't actually have a man manager at the start. But you can see here, Alan Pardew in charge of Witten. So they have managed Claudio, Rani Claudio Ranieri is in charge of Wickham, who finished second. Makaleli in charge of K-Sports. So they've attracted big managers with the money they've received. Stephen Gerrard in charge of uh, Rustle. Mick McCarthy, there's some big names here. Sam Allardyce, of course. He had to get involved, didn't he? He's at Pinchbeck. So I'll, I'll go down the divisions. We'll have a quick look at all the divisions. I mean, a lot of the, most of these teams, unless you're local to one of these teams, you won't know anything about them. I know Biggleswade, though. They've been promoted to the top flight of Charnock, Richard and Abbey. Abbey Rangers, as we can see, that Gary Megson in charge. Who's in charge of Biggles Wade? Daryl Clark. Dunkirk. Dunkirk relegated. Joe Mason, top goal scorer in this division with uh, Woodford. Let's go down to League One then. So League One was won by Collier's Wood with Walsham Le Willows and Longlevens getting promoted. Some of these will be tiny villages in the middle of nowhere, I'm sure. Uh, Narsborough. Shaftesbury. No Shaftesbury. Bottisford. Brimscombe and Thrupp. Relic. That's a great names. They really are. Then League Two, Chipping Sodbury, uh, Gooseborough, Sutton Common, and City of Liverpool promoted. Imagine if City of Liverpool become a major team, and the real, the actual Liverpool FC are, are left behind, and Everton as well, of course. Salt Dean Christchurch relegated. Now we're into non-league football, but we've still got some very small teams here. Saffron Walden from Essex getting promoted with Chichester. Uh, Wolfrins, uh, Liversedge, Red Hill and Woodbridge relegated. We've got Great Yarmouth in this division. So it's still very much non-league, traditional non-league teams at this level. But they've been promoted to the Football League. We've then got the National League North. Uh, Cockfosters. See, this is this is wrong. Cockfosters, they're in the south. Uh, with Enfield, they're in the south as well. Sawbridgeworth, Holbridge and Tower Hamlet's another London team going down. So geographically, this is this is a, not not quite correct, but it doesn't really matter too much. AFC Hayes and Desborough promoted from the National League North of Team Solent, Alsford and Rochester United getting relegated. I know Team Solent, Southampton team in Alsford, just up the road from me, actually. And then the Northern Premier League. Are we going to get some more recognised? There's a team called Corn. As in the vegetarian food, finishing mid-table in the Northern Premier League. So we've still got really non-league teams here. I don't. I think it's going to be the eighth tier when we see some teams that you you will recognise, or most people will recognise. Sure, lots of you recognise some of these teams. If you spot your local team, give them a shout out in the comment section below. Let me know where they are, where they finished in their first season. There's so many divisions at this level. It's crazy. Cleethorpes in the Northern Premier Division 1. We are in the 7th tier of English football right now. Uh, I'm not sure when we reach the 8th tier because I can't remember the names of them all. But we'll eventually see some teams that we recognise. Barkin and Tilby promoted from this division. English Ishmian South Central Division. Sholing promoted, another Southampton team. Um, then we've got the South East Division. Ashford United going up. Ah, here we go. I think we're in the 8th tier of English football now because Brentford have been promoted 106 points. They scored 103 goals. Far superior of Luton, Tramway, Oldham, the traditional English league teams here, finishing above some of these other teams that are, I think, National League or National League South teams. There's Man City getting promoted. They didn't lose a single game all season. Man United miss out on promotion because there's only one team that goes up, but we've got the, the four Premier League teams there. Then with Norwich and Ipswich, Braintree quite a long way behind, but Leroy Sane still playing for Man City. Top joint top goal scorer with Aguero, 29 goals. Aguero highest average rating. Gavinson, 21 assists. This is this is basically like a sort of English Premier League, but then with a lot of weaker teams. Biggles Wade Town, 15 points. Arsenal promoted a three points ahead of Spurs. They didn't lose a single game, but the top goal scorers Andre Gray, Troy, Troy Deeney, Harry Kane all got plus 30 goals, as you can see there. Uh, Watford finished third. Charlton South End, lots of recognisable teams. There's my. My local, my, where I grew up, Chelmsford City finishing mid-table in the English Essex Senior League. So West Ham probably would be better off in that division, to be honest, uh, but they're not. Leicester City promoted from this particular division, despite Aston Villa losing only one game, but they finished three points behind Leicester. Wolves, West Brom, Reading in that division. Huddersfield promoted as champions of the English Midland Football League ahead of Bolton. So they might uh, rise up the leagues quite quickly. Only one loss. I mean, they should still be attracting big crowds, even at this level. Liverpool, 110 points, didn't lose a single game. Let's just have a quick look at their attendances then. So Klopp's still in charge, 
And yeah, they're still getting big attendances at Anfield despite playing in the ninth tier of English football. Not particularly big for this FC United game. Um, some some games are big. Some games are big attendances and others aren't quite so big. Oh, FA Cup spoiler there. They've, Arsenal managed to win the FA Cup final against Arsenal. Two English ninth, ninth tier teams facing off against each other. Salah scored 26 goals. You kind of... It's surprisingly low considering some of the teams they are playing. You know, there's only Liverpool, Preston, Blackburn, Fleetwood, Blackpool, Accrington, Salford are decent. But everyone else, you know, they're not amazing teams. Uh, Barnsley, oh, finished ahead of Bradford City on goal difference in this particular division. No real life Premier or Championship teams in this division. Much weaker compared to some of the others. Hull City promoted ahead of Newcastle, uh, Middlesbrough and Leeds. Sunderland also down there. But yeah, that's a bit of a shock. Zero defeats for Hull all season with Newcastle not getting promoted they'll probably get promoted the following season unless Leeds can mount a challenge of course Chelsea champions of the Southern Combined Division so the four Premier League teams all getting at least 97 points West Ham Palace and Brighton miss out so and Fulham sorry Fulham 92 points can't forget Fulham so there's five Premier League teams this is a particularly tough division I would Imagine one of these teams might get stuck here because of financial problems. Uh, Jordan Ayew, top goal scorer of Eden Hazard, by the way. Jan Malenko, who's scoring lots of goals. Higain, best average rating. Millwall, champions of the English Southern Counties East League. So there's no Premier League teams in here. It might, I mean, if you were to do this uh, database again, it might be best to spread the Premier League teams out. But then again, that might make it a bit boring because as we saw with my database, the Premier League teams rise to the top after about 15 seasons, they're dominant again and it's a little bit dull. With this, we might get some Premier League teams stuck at this level, ninth and eighth tier, seventh tier of English football and that could be a bit more interesting in some ways. I want to see some of these really small little village teams go on, go on and dominate English football and go and win the Champions League. That's what I want to see in this database. For holiday into the future. See, Derby managed to win this league. Sheffield United managed to win the United Counties Premier. Bournemouth, champions of the Wessex League, ahead of Southampton and Portsmouth. And is this the last one, I think? Swansea, champions of the English Western League, ahead of Bristol City and Cardiff. Now we're into the FA Cup. So FA Cup was won by Liverpool on penalties against Arsenal in the final. Uh, league Cup, Carabao Cup. Now, obviously, this is the League Cup, so Arsenal, Liverpool, etc. can't compete. So we've got two... Random teams in Shrivenham and Brackley Town Saints getting it to the final and it went down to penalties. Who are the goal scorers? Can't even click on this chap. Can't click on either of them. They don't exist, apparently. In fact, yeah, that's that's right. Two players that scored must be um, greyed out players. They just don't exist. Uh, Community Shield won by Chelsea. Check a trade trophy won by New Haven. Beating Hall Road Rangers in the final. Danny Smith with the winning goal. A regen, 16-year-old regen left winger winning the uh, Checker Trade Trophy. Uh, English FA Trophy won by Saffron Walden. Gavin Allard. I think they've won the double, didn't they? Win a league title as well. And they've won the FA Trophy. Well done to Saffron Walden. Uh, and then there's all the regional cup competitions as well. Leek won this one. English Southern League Cup. Bristol MF. The Ishmian League Cup won by Molden and Tiptree. English FA Vars won by Arsenal, beating Brighton in the final. We can't click on that one. Some of you are probably wondering about the transfers involved. So if I just if I've gone back to July, so we do we have seen some Premier League players escape England, knowing I mean Sacco and Sissoko knew that they'd be playing in the ninth tier of English football, so they've managed to to get to, to France in time. Uh, Ogbonna has gone to Fiorentina. But there's no major, major transfers. Obviously, most of the players are still playing for their respective teams. Uh, in August, we did see Elneny leave. Brentford player. There's, there's a few English transfers going abroad, but not massive amounts. Um, and City actually signed a player for 900k. Two, uh, rising to 2.6 million whilst in the ninth tier. And then January... Oh, what's the transfers in December? Oh, Gazaniga leaving. Uh, Jan January, we saw Willy Bolly go to Monaco. Arthur Masuaku go to Bordeaux. Loftus-Cheek go to Torino. So that probably wouldn't happen in real life, would it? But because of this, I mean, Chicharito went to Dynamo Kiev. Uh, Jensen went to Bromby. So there's a few transfers here that you probably wouldn't have if it wasn't for this this database. You've got Origi moving for only £5.5 million. Pounds. There's some really low transfers because they can't command big transfers, can they? I mean, there's still a hell of a lot of money for a ninth-tier team, obviously. Ryan Frederick's going to Atalanta, but 
you know, these players would go for much higher fees if they were playing higher up. I mean, West Ham sold a few players here. Fredericks, Masuaku, Chicharito, Snodgrass, Andy Carroll. If they kept hold of them, they might have challenged for the league title and, and got promoted instead of Chelsea. But no, they sold a lot of players. So that's interesting. We'll keep an eye on this as we progress through the save. But yeah, you get an idea of what this database is all about. If I do do some more videos, I won't show every single division in that much detail. We'll have to, to holiday a few seasons into the future. But wow, how will Hebben, Harpenden, Witten and Ballum get on in the Champions League next season? And Brackley Town Saints getting into Europe. Who, who won the Carabao Cup? It was Shrivenham. So which division are they in? They're in the Championship. So we've got a Championship team. Did they get promoted this year? No, they didn't. So, yeah, this team, Shrivenham, in the Championship, will be taking part in Europe next season, which is fantastic, along with Brackley Town Saints. Uh, wait, was it Arsenal or Liverpool? One that, so they'll be in Europe. But these four teams in the Champions League, that's amazing. So hopefully you think this is a cool idea. If you want to have a go yourself, remember to download the database from the description below. Leave a like if you'd like me to holiday a few more seasons into the future and see what happens to the landscape of English football. Maybe the landscape of European football will change dramatically with all these different teams in the top flight of England. But until next time, enjoy FM19. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.